It's April 2009. I'm back here in my workshop in Dublin after a week out in Long Beach, California at Formerly Drift Round 1. I landed in Long Beach on the Sunday before the event, uh, the 9th of April I think it was, um, with the intention of spending some time with the guys down at Dynamic Autosports, getting to know the car a little better. And then the first time I got to drive the car was um, Friday morning down at the track for, for probably four laps practice before qualifying. It was, you know, it was, it was nerve-wracking sitting on that line Friday morning, not knowing how the car was going to behave when we pitched into that first corner. But uh, you know, I think it worked out pretty good. And the car, out, straight out of the box, you know, it, it, it goes well. A little bit heavy and a little underpowered, but you know, they're easy solutions to those problems, and uh, should be really competitive. Yeah, well, I'd walked the track probably three or four times um, during the week, and also obviously rode along shotgun with Robbie, so I knew where I was going. Uh, the entry speed isn't actually all that high, so uh, you know. At the same time, I couldn't afford to waste a run because we had something like 47 cars for practice, and we had two hours. That was it. We were probably going to get two, maybe three laps. So um, basically, it's, it's flat off the line, first, second, third gear. Uh, initiate on the, the handbrake, um, clip the apex, and carry as much speed as you can. But I think after about three or four laps, I was starting to get the hang of it. Um, by the time qualifying came, I was, you know, we made some changes to the car. Left-hand drive is, you know, it's, it's a huge change, especially in drifting. You know, maybe not so much in other motorsports, but in drifting, when you're constantly, you know, at the gears, changing gear, grabbing the handbrake, you're, you're constantly at it. So, my preparation was, you know, this is something I've been working towards for so long that last year we came across a old '87 Volvo 740 2.3 turbo left-hand drive I picked up for about 10 euro with a blown head gasket. So I've been driving that for about a year with a welded diff, getting the hang of it. And we had some snow here after Christmas, which was, you know, excellent practice up in the mountains, throwing things around. And um, yeah, you know, I've got a Pro Drift Championship back in 07. Um, Ryuji Miki, obviously the D1 champion back a few years ago, uh, in the top secret in the S15, absolutely unreal pilot, just gifted. And then obviously Tanner Faust with the, his new Scion, who has been unbeaten over there for in Formula D for the last two years. So yeah, in my opinion, I think Hancock have the right drivers this year. Friday morning of the event was uh, limited practice and then followed immediately by qualifying. I knew my runs weren't up to standard, didn't get out of the clips, and I was just watching qualifying from there on, just watching all the guys going down the ladder, just praying that I got in, and sure enough, 31st spot, I was delighted to get into the Saturday, that really was my objective. Talking to people at the track, I think that's one thing everyone was saying, oh yeah, when are you going to battle Darren, that's what we all want to see, this and that. Um, obviously we've battled back home before, and. I think we're pretty evenly matched most of the time, both in Corollas. Um, and sure enough, first event of the year, I could not believe it. He, I was watching his qualifying runs, they were awesome. He was on it, and the second place was really good. Fair play to him, but I just could not believe when I ended up in 31st, and the first battle was, was against him. I, I just had to laugh about it, really. It was, it was just the way things worked out. He couldn't have predicted it, you know? It was never going to be easy, but at least I could commit fully behind them and have some fun with them, and, and that's exactly what we did. I think the runs with him were the it was the first time I really felt comfortable with the car, I just forgot about the left hand drive and all the worries we had and just enjoyed it. And uh, I put in some really good runs, I was quite happy with myself to push him to a whole more time to be honest. You know, we, we assume things will go wrong and you know stuff might come loose, but the car just didn't hit us with a single fault all weekend. And after the one more time with Darren, yeah, Eddie and the guys in the team were really happy. I think we, we showed exactly what we could do with uh, with you know what was essentially a heavy underpowered car for the first round. So the potential was there straight away. Everyone in the team was happy, and, and Robbie did pretty good finishing fourth. So it was a great atmosphere there. Looking forward to round two. Atlanta is a, a road course, a proper racetrack. You know, some grass, some uh, some gravel, plenty of runoff. So I'm going to be able to push the car an awful lot more there, and we're hoping to do a little more testing there before the events, uh, try some new setups, and if that goes to plan, you know, I've got a lot of confidence in the car already and it's pretty basic. I think 
we can get that car up to, to championship standards, you know, I think it can win. Um, I'm confident I can with a bit more seat time. So at the very least, I want to get up to that podium uh, once or twice this year, but I would love to be able to, to stay up around the top five mark and just finish inside the top ten, I think would be, you know, a dream come true in my first year.